Hey guys, Ralph here and today I'm going to show you how to check your car if you have a bad ball joint and for our Nissan Juke if your control arm needs to be replaced number one indicator is the wear and tear on the thread of your tire so this one is bulbing on the inside on the inner part and as you can see this on the side it's already balding i just bought it this season but on the other side it's still good it's, it's placed on the front a uh, driver's side of the car that's uh, one indicator that your ball joint is bad and needs to be replaced and this is on the uh, passenger front passenger side which you can see it's still good it's not balding at all I see a little bit balding here on the side so probably the the other lower control arm is going bad as well next is we're going to check the control arm itself first is we need to jack up the car so we can check the tire if there's a play once we jack up the car we can put a jack stand before removing the tire it means an additional extra protection for us the second test that you can try is you can grab a wrecking bar or a pry bar and on the bottom part of the tire try to lift it if there's a play or if it's wiggling and as you can see there's a little bit play and I'm trying to use my pry bar on the driver's side of the car the third step is put your hand on the 3 and 9 o'clock position and try to wiggle it back and forth if there's a play most likely your lower ball joint is bad and needs to be replaced so here you can see there's a play on it now we're going to check the control arm as well as the bolt joint of the car but first we're going to remove the tire since the control arm is located behind it remove the lug nuts by using a 21 millimeter socket as well uh, we're going to use a breaker bar for us to have an advantage while removing the lug nuts I forgot to include but you need to loosen up those lug nuts when the tire is still on the ground to prevent it from rotating once the car is jacked up again we can start removing those lug nuts as well as the tire itself Usually what I'm doing is I'm putting the tire that I remove on the bottom of the car just for additional safety. So here's the back part of the rotor where the control arm is located and as you can see if we try to wiggle it, it you gotta play on the ball joint. And since we're already checking the control arm, better check the tire rods as well. So we have the inner and outer tire rod. Try to wiggle it back and forth, side to side, and check if there's a play. So far, our tire rods are still good. So most likely, the problem is on the control arm of the Nissan Juke. The ball joint needs to be replaced, so it will be the whole control arm that needs to be replaced. Once we diagnose our problem, we can put back the tire, put those lug nuts back. Um, but remember, don't tighten it up since we need to tighten those lug nuts when it's on the ground. And 
and once the tire is on the ground we can tighten those lug nuts back using a torque wrench torque those lug nuts to 80 foot pounds when torquing those lug nuts always follow the stir pattern so they will be torqued evenly So here's how to check and diagnose a bad ball joint or control arm on your car. And if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe and see you on my next vlog. Thanks.